Hello everyone, welcome back to Eververse. This time Eververse will recap the movie from 2019 titled The Beach House. This movie tells the story of Emily and her boyfriend Randall has been in a difficult relationship for some time, which is why the couple decides to take a short vacation at Randall's father's beach house. However, the break soon turns into a real struggle for survival. How is the next story? Let's review the storyline of this movie. We remind you all what we are going to say this is a spoiler. For those of you who don't have a problem with spoilers, let's continue the story and enjoy. At the beginning of the movie, we are shown a couple who are holding a vacation at a beachfront house. This man named Randall and the woman named Emily, from their conversation it is known that this house is an empty house owned by Randall's father. Therefore, Randall deliberately invited Emily to this house for a vacation just the two of them. When they arrived, the two of them immediately went upstairs. Then Emily asked permission to go to the toilet below to urinate. When she finished, Emily found a lot of drugs behind the sink mirror. Emily, who was curious about the contents of the house, immediately went around the kitchen from what Emily saw in the kitchen, could prove that this house was not really empty. When Emily was looking around, suddenly someone entered the house. Emily immediately hide and sneaked so as not to be noticed by the mysterious person. It was seen that the person was sitting at the dining table doing something. Emily feeling scared went straight upstairs and told Randall. Randall was also confused about why there could be people in this house. They both went down to check the situation below, but the mysterious person was no longer at the table. Not that the mysterious person was hiding and looked scared. Randall immediately asked the woman, what are you doing in my house? Hearing Randall's question, the woman said that her friend did not say there would be someone coming here. It turns out, the friend the woman meant was Randall's father. The woman admitted that she had been friends with Randall's father for a long time. She also introduced herself that her name was Jane. Suddenly, a man arrived who was Jane's husband. Jane's husband was named Mitch. Mitch also said that he was a workmate of Randall's father since 20 years ago. In the end, the four of them introduced themselves and planned a party for tonight. At night, the four of them sat at the dining table while drinking. They exchanged ideas and talked to each other. Then they went to the balcony of the house while continuing to chat. Not long after that, suddenly there were a lot of unclear things blowing in the wind and sticking to the trees. Emily, who understood this, said that it was all microbes spread by the wind. Jane, who had never seen it before, was interested in going downstairs and approaching the trees. In a drunken state, Mitch let Jane go. While Randall planned to play music in the house. Immediately, Jane was getting ready to leave the house. Not long after, Emily heard the sound of Jane vomiting from the toilet. When Emily approached the toilet, Mitch immediately closed the toilet door just like that. Morning came, Emily woke up in the room with Randall. Emily told him that last night was really messed up. Jane just threw up and Mitch didn't look happy. After that, Emily walked downstairs and saw Jane already sitting at the dinner table. Emily called Jane's name while walking over to her, but Jane didn't speak a word. When she was next to her, Emily saw Jane's face was a bit flaky and dry than usual. Then Emily asked Jane if she saw Mitch, hearing the question, Jane was like a dazed person who had difficulty speaking, and also difficult to walk. Jane walked upstairs and ran into Randall. Randall said hello to Jane but she didn't answer at all. Here, the situation was getting more and more chaotic since last night's incident. At noon, they shouted loudly and called Mitch's name. But Mitch did not come. The two of them lay down on the beach sand while waiting for Mitch's arrival. When it was late afternoon, Randall suddenly felt tremendous stomach pain, Randall said to Emily that he would return home to defecate in the toilet. While Emily was lying down, suddenly came Mitch who did not know where he came from. Mitch told Emily that he loved Jane so much. Mitch also said you will always care about the person you love until finally that person is no longer normal. Emily also asked Mitch, how was Jane last night, but Mitch did not answer Emily's question and he said he would swim on this beautiful beach. Immediately, Mitch walked into the water to swim, but after being noticed, Mitch continued to walk into the water until he was no longer visible. In other words, Mitch deliberately drowned himself just like that. Randall, who had finished defecating, tried to wash his hands. When he washed his hands, what came out was murky and dirty water. 
Randall came out of the toilet and heard a crash from upstairs. Randall thought it was Mitch doing something. Randall went upstairs and eavesdropped from outside the room. In the end, Randall, who was curious, tried to get into the room. On the other hand, Emily continued to shout calling Mitch who drowned himself. Unconsciously, Emily stepped on something strange on the beach. The creature was seen moving slowly. As a result of stepping on the creature, the soles of Emily's feet were bitten. As a result, Emily's right leg was just hollow. Emily could only scream Randall's while dragging her feet into the house. It was also seen that there were many parasites scattered on the coast. Emily's foot looked worse because the parasite was already inside her foot. Therefore Emily cleaned the wound on the sole of her foot herself. Then Emily took the parasite from the sole of her foot using a knife and clippers. If you look in detail, this parasite is more shaped like a worm or caterpillar and the like. Emily wrapped her foot with a bandage and she drank the medicine behind the sink mirror. Then she changed her clothes and put on shoes as footwear. Suddenly, Emily saw Randall who came out of the room and dragged his body to the floor. It turned out that behind Emily there was already Jane who turned into a strange creature. Randall and Emily, who had difficulty walking, tried to run away from Jane's pursuit. So that Jane could not get out, Emily tied the door handle using a water hose. Then they both tried to escape using the car. But unfortunately, the car keys were still in the upstairs room. Then Emily and Randall continued to walk away from the house until they found another house to ask for help. But the house was an empty house with no inhabitants. Not long after, there was a man who came from next to them. It was confirmed that the person was the same strange creature as Jane. The two of them immediately ran away from the house with the fog conditions that were so thick. The entire residential area there was also covered by fog. The fog made it difficult for Randall and Emily to breathe. Then they found a police car parked. Emily got into the car and tried radio communication in the police car. Emily said that she needed help in the beachfront area of Summer Beach. Fortunately, Emily's help was answered by the police at headquarters. But the police said that the area there was very dangerous, on the grounds that everyone in the area had been infected. The police also told Emily to go into the house and close the windows and not breathe the fog that came. After that, the policeman said that the fog that had sprung up was not real fog. Emily also asked if it wasn't fogged what it all meant. But the policeman just cut off the communication. Hearing that, Emily got out of the car and she saw Randall already lying on the ground. After that Emily and Randall pulled over at a house to ask for help. Emily broke one of the windows of the house with a wooden block. They both took turns entering the house. When already inside, they tried to check the condition of the house. Randall found a phone but it didn't work. Emily found water and gave it to Randall to drink. Then Randall told Emily to turn on the TV in the house. When the TV was turned on, there was only emergency writing and told residents to evacuate. Emily, who was curious about all this, turned on the radio. On the radio broadcast there was news about microbes that survived in the rocks. The microbes released various bacteria that made bacteria evaporate in the air. It was also said that the evaporating bacteria were very dangerous. From the evaporation it was very possible to exterminate the human population on this earth. Emily immediately sealed all the cracks in the house. Then Emily found the basement in the house. She went downstairs and found two oxygen tubes. Without hesitation, she tried to breathe oxygen from the tube. On the other hand, Randall, who was getting worse, vomited mucus from his mouth. It turned out that from vomiting mucus there were also parasites like the one stepped on by Emily. Immediately Randall's eyeballs turned white like Jane's. Emily who was still in the basement tried to find other items. When she turned on the light, she saw a man who was filled with mucus and parasites on his body. Also saw a strange figure who was above the man and looked at Emily. Without thinking, Emily immediately ran upstairs while carrying an oxygen tube. When Emily came to Randall, she was surprised to see Randall had become like Jane. Then she hit Randall using an oxygen tube. Emily was in shock and confused about what to do. While in a panic, Emily saw a car key under the cupboard. At that moment she immediately got into the car while carrying an oxygen tube, Emily left the area by car. Because the fog was so thick it made it difficult for Emily to see the road, in the end, Emily hit a tree. 
Emily woke up and immediately got out of the car. With the fog getting thicker, it made it difficult for Emily to breathe. Emily who had panicked found a puddle and soaked in the water. In the morning, it was seen that the puddle was a small lake near the coast. Emily was also seen lying on the shore alone. But Emily who woke up was no longer Emily but Emily who had been infected by bacteria and the movie ended. Thank you so much for watching this video, if you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and see you on the next movie recap.